Uh, I've just out of a game jam, and I wanted to do. So the theme of the game, the start of the project was cabin fever, and that was interpreted in many different ways. But uh, for our game, we interpret it as like in the movie Cabin Fever, uh, zombies. Basically, it was a zombie. Wave-based survival. No. Well, I'll just quickly do a uh, quick playthrough of it to try and see how far we can get into it. So, with these models, the reason they've got random people's face on them is because these are the lecturers of our of our like lectures. Like, there's a few. People who the designers on the um, on my team uh, particularly wanted to make into zombies, and that's basically how we ended up with a whole bunch of random faced zombie people. And you've got your um, red areas that you need to protect. And you can. These um, dust particles that where the enemies are going to spawn from. So it's going to be a bit like Call of Duty Zombies, where you have to build these defenses and then the zombies come and you have to like run away from them or like defend against them. So I've got a limited number of traps and zombies come in waves. Oh no! Uh, it's a little bit. Okay. I try and. Oh, they're killing my base. Oh, he's killed it. The monster. So I can attack with E, and I can heal stations with Q. But once they're gone, they they're gone. Heal this one and that will stop. But they, at the moment we've got six zombies just coming out the walls. Ah. We've got a limited number of traps we can place, so I've used all ten of my traps. I should probably explain how the player works. So the player works in... The player object is it works is um, the it uses the roller ball sort of what's the prefab to like move around and go through doors and stuff and that prefab is invisible you can't see it and this player model will walk towards wherever that ball is in the world space and that's where you get this cool sort of follow the um, like the center of the camera effect, and it turns pretty well, I think. But it does sort of lag behind a bit because I've got a few. Uh, well, there's also the third game object, which is what the camera is attached to, and that's how it's like staying from one rotation without uh, breaking up. Oh no, they're going to my base. Oh, so yeah, you can just sort of punch them. The animation isn't great, but it works. So this is the game jam. We made this in 24 hours. Uh, I'm pretty. Uh, let's, let's try and clear it. So this will keep spawning enemies until um, it reaches the max amount of for that wave, so in this case it's like 20, I guess. And I'll spawn them in different waypoints. Oh no, stay away from my base! Uh, I think maybe there's, a, there's too many... <laughs> um, maybe nav meshes going up, which is why it's making me move a bit weird. Uh, 
Uh, so some of the other games we saw, um, there was another zombie game like this that was also being shown, which was like, uh, and there was one which was like underwater, and you had to like go and food to survive. Uh, another one we had was. Um, it was like a. So at this point, I've run out of traps and I'm just trying to punch the zombies away. Oh no. But I'm running out of health. And I don't look. Ah, uh, I've lost. Yeah. So that's our game. I. Uh, you know. <laughs> it was interesting to work in our team. Uh, I hope you found this video interesting. Hopefully I'll be making more of these. Now how do I pause the record? Goodbye. Goodbye.